Hey, what's going on guys? Poison Rain here, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we've got a water sweeper, for lack of a better word. Um, it's not meant to clear water, it's meant to uh, drop water without griefing. Uh, this took me about two hours to design. I never got around to saying what the purpose of this thing is for. Uh, it's basically meant to be attached to a tunnel bore so that way it can turn all the lava that the tunnel bore passes over into obsidian. That way you can walk underneath the tunnel bore and do maintenance wherever you need to uh, without having to fall into lava or you need fire res potions. So the materials you're going to need are um, two dispensers, one sticky piston, seven observers, five pistons, seven smooth blocks, 11 slime blocks, and two water buckets. So you're gonna wanna start off with a slime block and a piston here, an observer here, solid block here, then two slime blocks here, an observer here, and here, slime block, slime block, piston, piston, filler block, slime block, filler block, slime block, and then, actually one more forward, sorry. And then solid blocks in those four locations. Next up, filler block, slime block, and then filler block there with an observer there. Then on the bottom, we need a piston, observer, Solid block, solid block, solid block, dispenser, dispenser, then yeah, there's that part done, then you'll go out three blocks, and then a slime block there, uh, and then two blocks up with slime, Sticky piston here, observer here, piston here, filler block, place the observer like this, and you can remove that. Of course, you'll need your water buckets in here, and it is now done. You can attach your engine, whatever it may be. I'm glad I did some testing because I found out that 10 ticks is nowhere near enough. Um, it needs plenty of time for this water here to stream down. Um, so I ended up coming on to, well, we can just count this. 4, 8, 12, 16, 18, 20, 22. 22 ticks for a useful speed. Unlike, you know, this update, what we're in right now, we probably could get away with just 10, maybe 12 or 14 redstone ticks, but no. Mojang wants to get rid of something that makes our lives easier. Well, yeah. And this will not leave a permanent trail of water. If you want to, you can, of course, uh, stop this up. And it will not break it. It'll just keep reloading itself every single time you push it forward. So basically how it works is the engine pushes this section forward, which pushes all three of these pistons here, which get activated by their respective observers. These two pistons here are just to push these to keep to make it where these here generate infinite water sources. Otherwise, the water will just flow off in this direction and this direction. Now they are flowing off this way. Uh, then this center section here, uh, this observer here, powers these two dispensers, then gets pushed over. Um, and since it got pushed, uh, pushed forward one and this gets pushed forward again, this here gets pushed forward. Activating this observer, which then activates this sticky piston, which then pushes down this observer, 
which then activates this piston to throw it back. Again, activating the dispensers to collect their water again. And all of this here is for timing it to allow an infinite water source to appear. Or to be, or not an infinite water source, but a new water source to be generated. Uh, this is for 116 because obviously in 114 you can just put a waterlogged anything and then push it. But they are removing that for the bullcrap excuse of parody, uh, which, as y'all know, I'm really against this change. But yeah, say goodbye to this. It's gonna go away forever, most likely. Uh, and say hello to bulky Fredstone. Because we totally asked for that Mojang. We totally didn't want to keep movable water because it's actually a thousand times more useful than it is damaging. So, yeah. This, as far as I've tested, is 100% reliable. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it hit the like button duh if you have any issues join the discord link is in the description if you like this kind of stuff uh whether it's sticky stone redstone uh or farms then uh consider subscribing if you want to keep up with this kind of stuff hit the bell icon and keep up with notifications um anyways i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you have a nice day